I'm Bet from Bet's Makes, and today we're going to be making a Lily of the Valley. And this is going to be a fairly simple process. We're going to use some crepe paper, but you could use tissue paper or other flexible paper. So we're going to cut a couple of leaves. We're going to cut some paper for stamens, and of course, paper for the Lily of the Valley itself. And this is from crepe paper. If you don't have it, not to worry about it. So let's move over to Design Space and upload our file and see where we can take it from there. Well, here we are in Cricut Design Space and we're going to be making our Lily of the Valley. I'm just going to click on New. We don't need the text on the screen here. I'll just click on Replace. And we're going to upload the file that we need. And this file is going to be called Lily of the Valley. So just click on the Upload, locate your SVG file that you're going to need. And then let's load it in, Lily of the Valley. I'm going to insert those images. That is perfect. That's exactly what we want. Nothing needs to be attached here or grouped. So I'm going to ungroup this for now. Now what we have is a pair of leaves here. They don't need to be grouped either. So we have two leaves that we're going to put together. So what's going to happen is we're going to cut a piece of floral wire that will go down the center. And then we're going to put this in between. So our supply. So step one, of course, is uploading your file. Not only that, you want to have your materials together. So for materials, you're going to need some crepe paper or tissue paper or a very bendable paper that you can use. You're going to need some floral wire and, of course, some floral tape and a little bit of glue. And that's about all you're going to need. I always have a pair of scissors handy at the same time. So now we have the two leaves and that's going to actually make one leaf when we cut it out. This is actually going to be the Lily of the Valley itself. I'm going to rotate that 90 degrees. Oh, it went upside down. Okay, so let's come over here and let's flip it so I have it the right way. And then, of course, we have these parts as well. And these are going to be our stamens. Now, I want to cut these out of the same piece of paper or crepe paper. So I'm going to change the color of that one to match this one. And it looks like it's this one. And no, oh, I guess it's this one. Sometimes won't show up right away. So now we have our flower and we have our stamen and we have our leaves. And of course, with the floral wire and the floral tape, that's all we need to do this. Now this will make one leaf. You can make more if you wish. This will make one flower, but we want to make 10 flowers. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight over both of these. I'm going to come over to duplicate and duplicate it nine times. And that will give us 10 of each. And of course, if you want more of these leaves, you can cut those as well. And that's all we need to do in Cricut Design Space. Our next step now is to make sure we have everything on the right mat and we are able to cut those pieces easily. So let's go over here and save this and we'll just call it Lily of the Valley. Add the E here. I'm going to save that. Now we're going to come over here to make it. Now the one thing I noticed is that the flowers are pointing sideways. A couple of things you can do here. If you're using crepe paper, instead of having the grain going up and down because of this, I would have the grain going across because you want these to expand from side to side. If you have the grain going up and down, that is not going to happen. So you can do one of two things. You can turn all of these around or you can put your crepe paper on the pad all by itself. Now, if you're using the maker with a crepe paper, you're going to be using the rotary cut tool. Otherwise, it is the knife, not the knife, but the fine cut blade. So just remember, put on your crepe paper so that the lines go side to side, especially with this configuration. And for the next piece, because it's also crepe paper, you'll notice you can leave it up and down. So you're going to have it in two different orientations. 
just make sure when you want to expand something that the lines of the crepe paper go from side to side. Everything looks really good here. We're going to click on continue. I'll just take a second or two to hook up. Now we want to pick the crepe paper. I have already pre-selected mine, but you can browse all materials. Come over here and just type in crepe and click on search. Now notice that there's nothing made by Cricut in the terms of crepe paper. You have to make a decision of the type of crepe that you have. I use a very thin crepe paper, so I just use this one in the middle, crepe paper, crepe paper. I don't have crepe de chine, crepe charmeuse, and crepe back satin, and wool crepe. I have none of those. I have the very thin stuff called crepe paper. And that is all there is. And I'm just going to click on the X. And of course, I'm going to click on my crepe paper. It tells me to load the rotary blade because in this project, you are only cutting. Now, this is for the maker. If you use the Air 2, you may find it will ask you for simply your fine cut blade. It doesn't matter which one you have, you are cutting the crepe paper. Okay, that's all there is to this. We're going to go ahead and cut this. Then I will see you over at the demo table to take the next step and put this project together. So we're going to put together our Lily of the Valley. We have the two leaves that we're going to use, and I'll put those aside. These will be the stamens, and of course these are the little lily parts. So you should have ten of these, ten of these, and two of these. We need some floral tape. We need a little bit of glue. I always have my scissors handy. Plus you're going to need some floral wire. Now this is just a very thin floral wire. You can use any type of wire you want. I just happen to use a thin one. So one of the things we're going to do is we're going to make 10 of these and these are the stamens and we're simply going to wrap things around. We're going to make 10 of those and then we're going to make 10 of our little lilies and then we'll put everything together. So I'm just going to show you how to make both of these items and then we'll go ahead and make those. These are pretty simple. We're going to start by just opening this up just a little bit. There we go. You just need a little bit of glue along the edge because what you want to do to start is just simply gluing the edges together so that you have a circle. And I'm just going to bring this one up here. I'm going to let it dry before I actually use it. I'm just actually going to come up here and fold it a little bit and fold it over. Remember, I am using crepe paper, but you can use other types of paper as well. Okay, I've got that folded together. And I'm just going to let set it aside to dry. Just get my fingers in there. So we're going to have 10 of those. Just make sure that when you're gluing them together that you don't glue the whole flower together. It's just the off one edge only. So let me get this too close. Just turn it over. You just want it to stick together. You don't necessarily need it really thick glue, just enough to hold it together, just like that. So we're going to make 10 of those, and then we're going to make 10 of these stamens. Now to do that, I'm just going to take a piece of wire, just give it a cut, it's probably about 4 or 5 inches, there we go, it went over here. This one is 4 inches long. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these parts in order to do this, and I'm going to fold it over couple of times just like that. I am going to turn it over here and I am going to put a little bit of glue in the center just like this and we'll use a little glue later. I'm going to add this to the center. Now it doesn't really make any different which way this turns but I am going to fold it over top so that we get a nice round top and then we're going to fold this around so it becomes a stamen. So we're just going to fold it around and around and I'm going to add a little extra glue in here. It's going to be pretty thick, but I want the glue in here. I want this to stay together over the edge of the top. And we'll just pull it down around. Don't have to be that accurate with it. Just going to make sure that it stays in place. And we'll just 
glue it together, sort of squishing it together here. So I'm just going to add a little more glue at the bottom just to make sure it stays in place. This can become quite thick, but that's okay because this is going to be inside the flower anyway. But you do want them to stick in place, so now we've got a couple of them here. And we're going to continue to do that with both of these until we are ready to start putting the whole thing together. So I'm going to just speed this up while I get the rest of these done. As you can see you don't need to... or two to get these put together. Put them off to the side. Perfect. You don't need very much glue at all. just want to make sure they're dry because you're going to start manipulating them a little bit as well. I just love making paper flowers because some of them look so realistic. It's just unbelievable. I'm going to make this one as realistic as possible. bit and then just fold it over. That works perfectly and it won't take too long to dry after we've done this. The best part about crepe paper, it doesn't matter if you have a little extra wrinkle in it because we are going to use it because it stretches. Now if you're using a tissue paper, It won't stretch quite the same, but the effect will be quite amazing. So I'm going to need some more stamens here. Let's move my floral tape out of the way. What I need is a few four inch strips of this. And I'm going to cut one more beyond that because what I want to do is I want, those are for the stamens. Now I'm going to need one for this one as well. And this one is going to extend right along the top here, all the way down to the bottom. And I'm just going to give it some extra. So this one will be for the leaves, so it's quite a bit longer. All right, just put that aside. Now the one for the leaves, I've made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten inches long. And I will just put those off to the side. What we're going to do is just work with our Lily of the Valley parts and the stamens right now. So that's all we're going to worry about. 
Don't worry if you've got a curve in it on either end because we can straighten it out later. I'm just going to fold it over a couple of times. Gonna add some glue. I might just do the glue along the edges. I'm just going to try it doing it a little different here this time. Lots of glue. Push this one into the center and bring the pieces down and around. And we can add some more glue here. glue off my hands. One thing I like about crafting, it doesn't matter, I get my hands all messy and all dirty. I know I've created something fun if I'm really messy. Okay, we have all of our pieces now, and I'm going to do the leaves later. But what we want to do is start with these, and we're going to start putting them together. Now, they should be pretty well dry here. So the idea of the lily of the valley is going to puff around the outside edges and curl in right here. So I'm just going to hold it together here, and then I am going to push the sides out a little bit, just like that so that we're getting a bit of a bell there. Then we're going to take one of these. Let's take one of the earlier ones. What we're going to do is we're going to thread it right down the center, just like that. Watch out for the leaves. And now what we have is this beautiful little flower, and we have the edges here. So now what we can do is push those out and then we'll do some curling in a second and we'll do the same thing with all of them. But what we want to do right now is take some of our floral tape and I'm just going to cut off a small piece here for now just, just so that we have it in place. I don't want to use too much glue now but I do want to take the floral tape and what I want to do is just hold this together and it doesn't matter if I squeeze it too much here because we are going to expand it momentarily. So I am going to take this and I'm going to roll it around in here just so it holds together. There we go. And it doesn't take much of this floral tape. that You can stretch it and come right down to the end. There we go. There we go, we're right down to the end. It didn't take very much of the tape in order to do that. I do see this is a bit loose at the top, so we can take it apart here, and, and then I'm going to twist it back up. Make sure everything holds together. Okay, so grab this again. I do want to make sure it stays in place. Remember, we're holding it onto what the stamen was here initially. So even if I have to add a little extra glue here, that's just fine. I just want to make sure everything stays in place. And I know it needs a little bit because it's not sticking at the top here for me the way I wanted it to. Okay, so let's just bring it in. There we go to the top. Now that should stay in place right now. Now we're going to do the same thing with all of these lilies of the valley. And we just hold those in place. 
Okay, so what's going to happen is we're going to bring this out. It's all into place right now, and I'm just going to use the edge of a pencil. Just holding it in place. So you want to be able to see the stamen inside, which you can. Then the next cool part is we want to roll these out. Now I'm just going to use a thin edge here and I'm just going to roll them around on the outside so they droop down a little bit. And then we can spend more time shaping them if we need to. Okay, that looks pretty good. Get a little more shaping in here. You can play around with the shaping a little later, but we're going to make 10 of these and then we're going to put them all together with the leaf. So let's get going on putting the rest of these together and we'll be right back. So there's one done. Now these are going to be pretty easy. We're going to stick this one down the center. Stick it right down the center till it's about the edge here. Perfect. You want to squeeze that together. I'm just going to twist it a little bit just to make sure it stays in place. I'm actually going to use a bit of this floral tape. And if we can get it to stick to itself, that's perfect. I'm going to wrap it a couple of times to make sure. It doesn't seem to want to stay with it. It could be because of the glue that's in place there already. So I am going to add a little glue to it. Normally you don't have to with the floral tape, but this time I'm going to. So we'll make sure everything is tight. Okay, and then I'm going to bring that floral tape all the way down to the bottom. it around. That looks really good. Just going to rub some of this glue off my fingers. Okay, we're going to let that dry for just a second. We have a few of them here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to glue these leaves together, but we're going to glue the spine down the center. I'm going to take this wire, straighten it as best I can, and I think I'll use this side of it. Okay, easy process here. Just going to put a little line of glue down the center, but we're also going to glue the edges together. So I'm just going to add the glue along the edges at the same time. And this is going to be the beautiful little leaf that holds everything together. Just a little bit more here, and we want these pieces to glue together as well. Now, I want to make sure we get our wire onto the glue pieces here just to make sure that's going to raise up a little bit because it's not perfectly straight but don't worry about it. The next part is getting the other leaf to fit in and get it as close as possible. Just move this over so you can see what I'm doing here. I want to match the point and try and match at least one side here and hopefully the other side will pick up on it. I've got one side going here. Okay, that's looking really good. Now this side's got a little bit of a bend so I'm just going to have to try and stretch it over as best as possible and match those up. This is another challenge here is the leaf end of it because it folded itself over. We want to be able to pull that apart so we have the edge of the leaf. That's not looking too bad. Just get as accurate as possible for this. You can't be perfect with it because of the glue and the nature of 
having crepe paper as well. Now that's going to form a nice little pod as you can see where we're going to attach the lilies as they're going to work their way up into this particular leaf. Okay, so we have that leaf ready. Now we're going to go back and we're going to add our floral tape to these last ones. We have five of them, so I'm just going to cut a piece at a time and then we're going to work on it from there. So just a little bit of floral tape. I know that's going to stick in there, so I'm going to stretch it as hard as I can right there. Make sure it stays in there. That looks pretty good. Okay. Floral tape is so stretchy. Okay, almost there. Okay, I'm not going to worry about too much here. Perfect. Always have it come apart on me at the top, so it's going to go back and make sure that it is in place. Just pinch it together to make sure it's going to work. There we go. If you have a little extra here, I'm just going to add a little extra glue. And I know there's glue all over my hands too, but not to worry about it. If you're really working hard on a project, you're going to have glue hands. So I'll just move the glue off my fingers here. Okay, next one. Need another piece of floral tape. I'm actually going to add the glue this time. Just a little piece at the top. make sure those are glued into place because I don't want them slipping down. Looks pretty good. Okay, looks like a nice little stamen there. Okay, just a couple more to go here. And I'll put the glue in place. I know this seems like it's a long time, but you have to, if you want something that's really beautiful, you want to have it all done the right way. And it will look incredible when you're done. Sometimes it just lets go, so you have to just twist and twist. One thing about floral tape, you do have to keep twisting it in order for it to look good. Okay, just a couple more to go here. Again, I'm going to put a little glue at the top just to hold it into place. And I just want to make sure it stays there. Okay, one more to go, and then comes the fun part.
All right, so we have all of these little beautiful pieces. Now we want to start opening them up just a little bit. And we want to open them up so they become beautiful little lily of the valleys. So I'm just going to open them up by just creasing them out a little bit. And you will see the stamen come right through. There we go. Now you can open them up even further with your pencil. Just get it in there and extend them as far as you want. You can curl these down. So we've done a couple of them. I just want to open them up a bit. Whether we curl them down or not doesn't really make any difference. You want to be able to get in there and stretch them just a little bit so they're like a bell. three or four of these. That's why I use crepe paper because it's so stretchy and bendable. So nice. There we go. One thing about making paper flowers sometimes because this one requires so many different buds that uh, it, it's like if once you get the process down for just doing one you are ready to go to make several and you can add as many as you want now this one takes a fair amount of time to put together because there are 10 different buds on this one and one leaf but it's just a matter of cutting the right amount of places pieces sorry and then adjusting your flowers the way exactly the way you want them. Now the one I'm touching right now I see the stem part isn't working as well as I would like it to. It's pretty loose but that's okay. We can work with that. And it's adjusting all the time. I love the fact that you can bend this paper. And remember, flowers aren't perfect so you don't have to be perfect at it. You just have to have fun with it and just bend things, make them look like they're real. One more to go here. All right, last step in the process is to put this together with the, the leaf and just join them together. So now we have this gorgeous leaf. And what we want to do is have these flowers kind of join together. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to twist a couple of them together. Let's see, where's this one? I'm going to twist this. So we have two together, just like that. I'm just going to keep them twisted so it becomes one branch and then I can bring them out this way. Then I'm going to do the same thing with the next one here, probably right about there. I'm just going to twist it around. have that one hanging out on that side and let's get another one here and we can actually put this one right about here as well ouch that's a little sharp piece there so as you can see we're building a beautiful little flower here I'm going to put one up the front side too remember it's just it's not just side to side but you can add other pieces to it as well and we'll tighten these up with another piece of floral tape later. So this one looking really good. Just gonna bring them out because flowers themselves, see how this is coming together really nicely. I'm gonna put another one right about there. And this is why we wanted these all wrapped with floral tape because when you're going to twist them together you've got to make sure you don't poke yourself with the ends and I just did. Okay, so now we're looking really nice here. Doesn't this look gorgeous? Okay, so let's just keep adding them here and there. nice really nice this is looking really gorgeous okay I need another one right here 
probably stick up about that far. Okay, so where's the end of that one? There it is. And all I am doing is just twisting these wire pieces together and it's forming a thicker stem. Wow, just two more to go. So I'm going to find some good placement. Maybe another one right here. I'll just twist that around. So I'm getting a lot of these. This is going to look really gorgeous. I think this last one probably fit up in here. This one's going to come around over here. Now the best part about having these on the wires like this is you can twist them and move them into any place that you want. Now I've got them pretty twisted together so what I want to do is I'm going to add some more floral tape here and just make sure everything stays together. So I'm just going to add it right here and I'm going to twist it all the way down. Grab all those loose little wire pieces, like I've got one right here that's going to create a problem. Smooth it down. Okay. Let's make sure I've got all those pieces together. Just get it right down at the bottom. Now they're starting to look really good. This is so sweet. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add the leaf to this. The leaf is going to cup it, so it's going to come across this way. So we want our tape to come down now so it fits with the rest, but I am going to double this one up just to give it a little thickness. And one more nice giant piece of floral tape. And what this is going to do here. Make sure it's nice and tight and then we're going to do some adjustments to it right here at the end. You can make these as big as you want. Okay, so I'm just twisting it around with the floral tape. I've just got a nice big end here so that I can stick in a vase or anything else. I just doubled it over because it felt that I wanted it a little thicker than what we had. But the biggest trick here is to make sure you go everything in the same direction. Because if you don't, things will come undone. All right. So let's just make sure everything's tight here. I'm just going to twist it with my fingers a little bit. You can always add more leaves if you wanted to, but this is perfect because now you've got them on a stem where you can bend them or put them in place. I see I could add a little more tape here because it's a little loose. So let me just add more tape here. Never worry about using too much floral tape because you want to keep it tight at the bottom so it doesn't unravel. I think this will do it this time. I've got a couple of extra pieces here. I can see there is this coming apart. Okay, just add a little bit more. Because you're going to remember that the leaf is not as heavy as the actual plants are, the actual buds. So I'm going to just add another piece here. We're just going to keep doing this until we have it tight enough. And I think this will do it this time. Okay. Looks pretty good. I'm going to pull this piece off and rewrap it. And finally, I will add the finishing touch here. I'm just going to add one more piece because I want to make sure everything stays in place. Hold it tightly. 
and you can build it up as big as you want at the end okay so that looks really good just hold that into place and there we have it this is our lily of the valley and it has all kinds of little buds on it we did 10 little buds of it you can stick it in a vase you can use it as a decoration you can just sit it on your desk this is so gorgeous i hope you had a lot of fun putting this together and until next time happy crafting mm -hmm.